Alright everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh let's look at the scope. Um Since Pan Am's right here, we'll go ahead and just do that. New message from Claire Russell. Uh hey we got the cords for our first race. We're gonna be stinking up the Corpo's backyards. First off is Vista Del Rey so they can't turn a blind eye. Then we'll piss off the upstanding citizens of the Glen, make some noise around Corpo Plaza and finish the docks and wellsprings. Let's meet at the starting line corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard and Skyline East. Holla when you get there. Roger that. Thanks. Okay, so that's the races whenever we want to do that. I figure we'll do the main thing until uh, Pan Am gets like far away from where we currently are. But right now, since she's literally right here, we might as well do that read that a million times hey hello I'm just checking the suspension the hydraulics have to be ship shape we're in for a bumpy ride Did you sleep all right can't get blame and you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A sat wave power station. Why down the AV there, at that exact spot? Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Hold up. One more time. Wrench is our car, right? Mm-hmm. The cutter is the AV. The screwdriver is where the AV should hit the ground. And the clamp is the Satwave power station. That is, the net we use to bring the AV down. Um, Satwave power station? Yes. We need to break into it. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. But then what? And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. Of course we do. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. Meaning what? Engines will shut down? Everything will shut down. Engines included. Drive, navigation, communication systems. Damn it. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. I just noticed Pan Am doesn't seem to have any implants at all. Which is probably the first person in the entire game what that we've seen. Power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or well, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, 
Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Because me, I had to carry a real Ganic iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yup. Someone put him in a deep sleep, packed him in a cooler. <laughs> no idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The deputy finance director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. Middle of the road? On the wrong side of the road? I'll you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we can just get along. Let me remind you, I want Hellman from me, not to stick it to Arasaka. This is life or death. My life I mean, or let death. me remind you that Sokka and their fucked up tech is what got you here. Who gives a shit about motives? Ends justify the means, and right now your end is to survive. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Power stations serve the whole city? Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Guess we're about to find out. Huh. Antennas run all the way down the interstate. Mm-hmm. And they're linked, which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. 
Pan Am, what if we cut all the cute stuff and blow the station up? Normally, I'd love to. But an explosion would trigger an automatic shutdown protocol in each collector. All Night City would know we were there well before we got around the protocol. Nice idea, though. Maybe next time. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Though, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. I remember, I think in the last video or the one before that, Good. Time I said roll. Night City is kind of like New Got York, like this and I completely Down forgot it was set on the West Coast, so no. it's Los Angeles. <laughs> I thought you would have done something like this with your clan. I'm so used to games no. being set in the east, well, like Fallout and them. But this, oh, one and two set in the west. But... Now, the risk is so much greater. You don't miss it. What? Jobs like this? Being in a clan, being part of a family. I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all in your own? Yeah. Sometimes wonder what life would be like back with the clan. And? and the price is always too damn high. Hmm. I believe I understand. I like they're usually on a long ride like this. There's enough talk to get you through like probably 70-80% of the ride. And it's actually interesting, so that's a good thing. The riser was nice too. I like this vehicle. I wish we had it. Why are the miles per hour way over here? Wait, yeah. <laughs> I've played okay, you know. We'll be there in a moment. Follow three, One four, seventy-six. Drive in. Fuck up the All system. set within a couple of. Hold on states tight. of me this could get a little bumpy get ready okay so I just assume I'm ready without thinking okay Girl. I'll deal with them. deal quick before they hit us can't seem to even hit one I need mirrors on this thing. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chest. Thanks for the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on my mean, best hand. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny? I feel like that was very delayed. Fucking hell. I'm fine. It's it's okay. Just it's okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Just delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. 
We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasted shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. I thought that was just the air freshener in your thought. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Smells Keep like Nicky out here. I don't see shit. It's there. Coming from Pacifica. All right. Get ready. Down there. One more second. One more. Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. That one right there. What's happening? God damn it all. God damn it all. Bullseye. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? <laughs> That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. Where'd you get that rocket launcher? No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. You either land or crash. You catch that? Over. AV on mark. Losing out. Catch. There. Scorpion. What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao. Wait for me, or better get the hell out. They probably want to help the survivors, without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering! Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down! We won't let them. We have to reach with the Scorpion! Man, you can't aim with shit with this. that hill. Well, one less thing to worry about. Ugh. Pan Am, you okay? The fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey man, where are you? 
Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? Fee, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the back, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. I have 150 of them. Could have just gave you one. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. They won't mark us? I'll enable the masking. Their scanners are out. They're blind. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm hmm. V, if they got the Alticaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't. I don't know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. They probably gonna. Sorry. Your clan? Why don't it scan, goddammit? Alta Caldas. Yes. They're dead. All of them. He's alive! They have them! Won't scan this guy. Oh, wait. Sorry. Your clan? Alta Caldas. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they... Don't worry. We don't know for sure. It won't let me they stand. The launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Hey, that, that's one thing that's kind of... A big issue is a lot of times your scanner bugs out. Can we take it down somehow? Such a huge feature of the game. We have to get there first. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them. This is all my doing. Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools. Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. You're already blown to bits. Don't be an idiot. This is just a scratch. Let's take out the launcher. I will try to- No, you stay in the car. Sorry, but you're just gonna slow me down. Fucking hell, V. Those are my people out Listen, there. I get that launcher out of the way, I'll let you know. Then you go in and help me with the rest. Deal? Yes, sir. I still have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Let's get him. Holy shit.
They're so far away, it's hard to... Well, I had on it for some reason now. Ooh. Automatically knew where I was. I love it. what that was. Take it out. It won't let me do anything to it. It says control panel, but I wasn't able to get in it. Scanning it should really show up. I mean, you have a high-tech scanner. I'm coming for you. I'll cover. 
your weapons, or I'll shoot. I repeat, drop your weapons, now! You don't see the shit you're in. You shoot him in a millisecond. Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on. I'll pack you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's, He's safe, right? Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything, see anything. Took him with him, in our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going, before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your helmet. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help Oh, them. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. How many pan am so far? Oh, what a uh, motorcycle. Oh, this motorcycle.
Okay. I was saying, she's gonna get on too. Scorpion Seven would hate Night City. I knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. things to take care of, too. Reach him. <laughs> Motherfucker. He's wounded. Barely, buddy. If it wasn't for the camera keeping keep doing that, I fucking wouldn't be wounded at all. Must have taken Hellman with them. Better hurry then. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. They're coming for him. Don't worry. What? There must be dialogue I can't hear. What the hell? I wager that's where they're holding help. Oh. Yeah, so there was cut dialogue right there that I couldn't hear. Another bug. Set up shop here. I see. They must have helped him. Somewhere. Cyber psychosis on a machine, does that work? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. I have no idea.
How? You're telling me that dude way the fuck up there spotted me fast enough for everybody to be alerted? That's another thing that needs to be uh, fixed. One shot. Uh huh. Yeah, that's something that definitely needs to be fixed. Is the detection on them? I'm so far away that my scanner will barely even pick them up. I'm so far away that even with a scope on a rifle, I can barely even see them. Okay. Yet they spot me insanely fast from that far away. Sure. Like it's so far away, I, it won't even attempt. We'll do cyber on a sniper. And that's the thing, that the cyber psychosis is like, it's not doing anything. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to work on machines or not. But it did nothing to that machine. That dude doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh my god, motherfucker. Like, see that sniper? He either. Look at that. He was behind that giant ass thing right there. Yet he saw me. Somebody's gotta be up there.
forgot I didn't have ping. I was like, why can't I ping anymore? Gotta get this purple. Guess we could have done this silently. Stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Helmet. Going in. Okay, covering you. You didn't get any customers out of here. Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like me doing the watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. Get me? In exchange, gotta run. I do believe that's everybody. You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rats got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have helmet and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with Takamura saved my life, remember? 
because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just Biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. Cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder colonies. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. It's all I tried to race for. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything. Yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Got a new bike. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk.
You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Construct, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clepped it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out here. And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said... You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. 
I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gunk. You just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me. Hey. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. How many slots do we have in our head? Better than nothing. As long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What will you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. <coughs> See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. Unacceptable. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. You were a kid from the Badlands. Family was your crutch and c But in NC, you're nobody. Best you can do is steal from scavs, the merc janitors. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. <laughs> you sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well... Seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine.
Don't think I care. What does interest me is why you're a clingy creep. I think we can work together, V. But your plans make no sense. Destroy Arasaka. I... I don't even know what that means. All in good time. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, V. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. Now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Wanna hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Johnny, take a second. Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Well then. Oh wow, we leveled up twice. Okay. Can you get this one? Level 20 and quick hacking. Oh, we're at level... Oh, okay, we're at level 10. Oh, shit. Well, now our available cybernetic ram can't drop below 4 units, so that's good. I think we'll go tech next. And what level are we? 24, so we still have 16 more levels. So 11 more to max this out. And then we have 5 more of those, which I think... Either handguns or cool. I think I want to get 20, 20, and then the rest can go wherever. What the hell is this, anyway? But right now, Till Takamura is ready. Go to the chapel. Oh, yeah, about the voodoo boys. Um. Tell you what, we only have two, oh wait, three, one, two, three, we have four small things over here, 
So let's go ahead and do these. Let's see how many of them we can get done. So now we have this scorpion. That little thing. That one. Let's try it. get what's happening to me. Oh wait. Hey, I've been thinking a lot about things. About the shit with Saul, about Mitch and Scorpion, about the family I had lost, left, adopting. Didn't know it'd be this fucking complicated. I don't get what's happening to me. I'm in the city, free to do whatever I want with my life, but fuck, am I really free? If I left my old life just because things started to get a little inconvenient, that would mean I'm always just going to be running. Does that make sense? But okay, that doesn't... Whoops. Maybe Mitch was right, you should go back, settle everything once and for all. And even if, and what about Saul, I can't change him, and I can't change what I think about him, so don't go lecturing me on compromises, please. I don't mean to, but trust me, you can live with someone you don't always get along with. Sounds corny, but it's true, you'll see. The okay thing just seemed... Just like, okay. Just like you're, you're blowing it off, like it's nothing. How you doing, V? Find those video boards yet? Been kind of busy. As are all. Well, good luck with your search. What about Evelyn? Any improvement? No changes. She's trapped deep in her brain somewhere. Must be going through hell. Sorry, I gotta run. See ya. Militech's new mobile radar unit on the border? Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the Articados, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached. The Badlands are a fragile ecosystem where each piece has an important role to play. Change one thing and the whole city, the whole circle of life starts to unwind. Militech doesn't seem to understand and set up a whole operation to cement the borders. They have a prototype mobile radar unit they use to track Aldic Caldo transports currently moored at their latest outpost. We get our mitts on that. The Aldic Caldos can reverse engineer themselves, a jamming signal designed to beat the new Militech toy. Once those transports are invisible again, the ecosystem will be restored to balance. Which is what we're doing. Yeah. Get inside the Militech base.
Aren't I supposed to gain three of those immediately when that happens? Find the radar van, or yeah, van P ninety dash two point six one dash or whatever. Oh, I was a robot. Oh, what the fuck? That's it. That's not much money. I guess the robots won't be alerted unless uh, you get spotted. What the fuck ever? You are instructed to reveal yourself! Thank you. 
Damn, that was close, but... Dead. Oh no, it's not. And this, this is another guy. See, them knowing I'm here is ridiculous. I haven't shot one time. Nobody's noticed me. There was no net runner to know where I was. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, we haven't seen one of those kind of big guns for quite a while.
Ooh, this one. <laughs> Not gonna be hard. We've read that one. Oh, we're actually stealing the van, okay. drives like a tank which actually for the steering is, is a lot better because the steering in uh, cyberpunk as of right now is a little too sensitive when you're going fast anyway Why am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. I fought the law. Fantastic job, B. Beautiful, really. My people are already tinkering with the radar. Militech is in for a little surprise. A job well done. Your payment is coming in hot. Damn, eight thousand. You lonely, honey? I can help. Are you guys whores? Okay. Got some crimes. That's the vehicle, right? Yeah. 
inside job. Who knows what you might find. Rescue the person. Let's just go to that real quick. in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Don't lose your mind. Another thing for Delamain. Montek must have done some sort of update. Either way, I've lost my access to their weather system. And if I lose my access, a lot of other people won't lose theirs. Got it. I need access to accurately predict sandstorms. Your race, after all. Fucking right, okay? Let me just see. That was all that it was. Give me my bike. are hunting someone in the Badlands. The word cycle's been mentioned. Check it out. If it is a cyber cycle, don't kill him. At least try not to. I have people who can get him into experimental therapy, and therapy doesn't work on the dead. Sending you the details. Apparently, it's some fresh fanatic converting Rathens into a pretty gruesome way. Watch your back. He might have military training. Witnesses claim they saw a silent old man wandering the Badlands, leaving a trail of bodies behind him. Well... No, we have cyberware that can, uh, system reset. Oh, 
fudge. Did I just get something... I don't think so. Find the cactus. Saw that wire up there, or a laser. God damn it. Try to do a run and start, but. in the light. I know many of my old brothers in arms wander, wander this life aimlessly living hand to mouth while their souls slowly disintegrate with apathy. That is why I am writing this, to provide reassurance. Your purpose is right in front of you. You just haven't perceived it yet. Today I went through a difficult test, but I came out alive and now my life makes sense again. It all started with a job from the VD, VD, VDBs, Voodoo Boys. It seems straightforward at first. For an old dog like me, it's as easy as aiming and pulling the trigger. I did a quick recon and that same day confirmed mission completion. Then something strange happened. Instead of receiving my payment, an effervescent light filled my vision and before me appeared the guardian of 
the border between the living and the dead. To my friends who live in destitution, I do not, I do not lose hope. The day will come when you will, when you too will put to the, will be put to the test and be given a second chance, as I have. Do not waste the opportunity. Once more, we will fight side by side. I am now opening the path to the sacred land with sacrifices to the lower gods. Join me. Managed to incapacitate our guy named Zion Wild. Had some burnt out military grade combat implants. Plucked his victims from the Wrath and Shiv so that Loa gods would open up his passage to the sacred realm. Not sure if he prayed too hard or if those sin circuits messes, messed with his head. But something went seriously wrong. Maybe you'll be able to find out more. Looked up Zion Wild and dug up list of military ops he took part in before dropping off the radar. Only time he pops up is getting caught urinating on City Hall. Eventually he ended up somewhere in Pacifica doing odd jobs for old war buddies. This conversation must have happened recently. Street Craig? We're going to go ahead and end it here, but when we come back, uh, we'll go and do this. Well, I guess we'll see, real quick, we'll just see what it is. So, as much as I need you for this new gig, I know you need the adrenaline hit even more. There is a car sitting in the middle of a minefield out in the back. Lance, I need you to grab. The chances of you exploding aren't zero, but let's face it. Isn't life one big minefield anyway? Details are in the attachment. Holy oh, fuck. The badlands are pre pre peppered with disarmed minefields from 2071. After several folk were dislegged by these disarmed mines, most decided to steer clear of these areas. That is, except the smuggling types. A number of their routes run through those fields. Risky, yes, but brilliant all the same. Why would anyone guard the border when they practically do your job for you? But listen up, a smuggler and his rig got stranded out in the middle of one of those minefields. Maybe his tank went dry, maybe he had a heart attack, or maybe he set up out on some vision quest. Who knows, doesn't matter. What's important is I don't know the routes these fellows run and now they're getting dropped in my lap. Give me this stranded vehicle. I know some nomads who'd pay handsomely for that GPS data. Okay, so we're gonna do that when we come back. Hope you guys are enjoying it though. Have a great day and I'll see ya. Bye.